The 2014 legislative session is expected to be a bonding year, and the governor is advocating for a $1 billion bonding bill. Joining me right now is chair of the Senate Capital Investment Committee, Senator Leroy Stumpf, to talk a little bit about a tour you're about to take and about the upcoming session. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um... Senator, you're about to embark on a tour to check out some sites. First, before we get into the specifics of the bonding bill or what you can talk about at this point, how much do tours like this play into the projects that are eventually selected and placed in the bill? Well, I think they're very important because it's hard to really understand the project unless you actually see it. And uh, now it's impossible to see all the projects because there's an awful lot of them. But the ones that we try to pick out are the ones that are, we feel are very important for the state. And there are $2.8 billion in requests as of now. $2.1 billion of those are for the colleges and universities. So are a lot of the stops going to focus on those areas? Or are you checking out some smaller communities? Well, we have, I, I kind of divide it up in about three different uh, kind of categories. First of all, the state of Minnesota is responsible for a, a fair amount of infrastructure from our prisons to our state hospitals uh, to the parks and, and uh, trails and things like that. And then there's a, a, the higher education, which has always been a very large part of the bonding uh, package in the past. And then the local, um, local projects, uh, which are community type uh, projects, uh, economic development type projects, things like that. You spoke a little bit about some of the ways that you select the projects that end up in the bill, but really a little more specifically, what criteria are you looking for? Is it job creation? Is it the most greatest need? Kind of outline your philosophy. Well, I think the, the most important thing is to try to preserve the assets of the uh, state of Minnesota. These are publicly owned assets, whether it's a, a bridge or whether it's a, uh, a park uh, or a higher education institution. Uh, it's a very important part of what, what the uh, public has. And it's very important for economic development. Uh, education, for example, is a huge driver of, of our future, our future economy. So I think the, the important thing is, is, first of all, to preserve the assets that we have and improve them if we can. And then I think <clears throat> we look at projects that would uh, enhance the economic development of our state. Uh, it could be uh, a project that, it could be a housing project, it could be a, a dredging project, it could be a bridge, any, any number of, of things. Uh, and so that's kind of the, the process that we I use anyway. Speaking of asset preservation, the legislature last session did pass a $156 million bonding bill. It included $109 million for the People's House, the state capitol building. It's anticipated that another $126 million will be requested in 2014 for the building. Is it going to be a hard sell or do you think this is something that most members are still supportive of? Well, I think most members are supportive of this, and I, I think once you get into a project as large as the Capitol and, and its surrounding uh, uh, aspects and facilities, you really have to complete it. It would be, I think, a, a disaster and a black eye for all of us if we got into the reconstruction and renovation of the Capitol and then left it half uh, finished. So I think, I think we'll have to move forward and, and finish this project, which again, as you mentioned, is really the people's house. And that's, that's a very important uh, um, a very important building in the state of Minnesota. My final question for you is a $1 billion bill $1 billion bonding bill is, of course, what the governor is looking for. Some members of the GOP in particular don't believe large bonding bills are necessarily good policy. So if it comes down to it, do you anticipate a $1 billion bonding bill, first of all? And if not, what kind of projects might be the first to fall off of the radar? Do you think something like the Capitol could? Well, I think the, the important thing is that we operate under some guidelines. Uh, some people or some legislators feel uh, the guidelines are too restricted. Uh, but I, the guidelines kind of give us a certain um, parameter that we work in. Uh, and right now we are uh, getting uh, relatively tight in terms of how much the state of Minnesota can bond for. It's not so much that 